Hi, everybody. Just waiting for some people to join. Hope everybody is well today. Is everybody ready to make some art? I'm ready to make some art. I make art literally every day. If I'm not at work, I do it at home. So this is my first time doing something like this. So I'm new to it all. Um, but I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun, and I think so are you. We're gonna do a fun uh, craft today, and um, I hope everybody participates. Oh, oh, I'm glad you love them. That's actually what we're doing today. I don't know if you can see it. Thanks for joining, Amanda. <laughs> How fun. Okay, so um, I'm going to wait a few more minutes to see if more people show. And then I'll, I guess what I can do right now is I can start giving you the list on things that you will need for the project we're going to do today. So the project we're gonna do today is what I call a teeny tiny cactus in a teeny tiny planter. Everybody likes many things. I like little miniature stuff to put on a shelf or in the windowsill. Sorry about the noise. I'm sitting in my kitchen right next to a highway. <laughs> I don't know if anybody can hear it. So, you're going to need one paper plate or an envelope. If you have a pencil, you can write this down. You will need, be, need one of those. Um, so one paper plate or an envelope. I do not have a paper plate at home. I have an envelope, so I'm gonna be using an envelope. Hi, Heather, thanks for joining. Uh, you're also gonna need one pair of scissors. For those who just joined, paper plate or an envelope, one pair of scissors, you'll need a pencil, uh, you'll also need markers, crayons, or colored pencils, which I have. Uh, you will need one cork or a bottle cap. So if you don't have a cork, don't worry about it. You can use a bottle cap. If you don't have either of those, I could say you could probably just use a piece of your envelope or paper plate to use. Uh, I'm trying to come up with ideas. We're trying to use things that you have in your home already to make a thing. Hi, Connie. Uh, also, you'll need hot glue. If you don't have hot glue, you could use super glue. Elmer's glue doesn't genuine, general, generally work because it takes a bit to dry. You'd have to hold it for a little while, blow on it or whatever to get it to dry. I mean, you could try it if you would like, if that's all you have. Um, and that's the list. So I'm gonna go over the list again, and I'm gonna wait for everybody to grab their things. You'll need one paper plate and, or an envelope, one pair of scissors, markers, crayons, or color pencils. I don't have any crayons. Um, of your choice, whatever colors you want, because you could do a cactus in any color. You could do it in pink, blues, purples. There is a such thing as a purple cactus. I don't know if anybody knows that. Uh, I like imaginary cactuses, so I like, you know, not normal colors. Um, you can, you also need a cork or a bottle cap. So if you don't have a bottle cap and you have a cork, that's great. If you don't have a cork, but you have a bottle cap, that's great. Also, 
If you don't have either of them and you really just want to make the little cactus, uh, you could do that and you can use the envelope or paper plate that you have and we can affix it to that. And if you don't, leave me a comment uh, and then at the end, I'll tell you what to do next. So I'm going to wait a few seconds so everybody can get their things if they have them. Um, when you have them, if you could, uh, put a little thumbs up or a wave or something so I know that people are finally getting their stuff. I'm probably going to do two of these. That way, um, if people come in midway through the video, they can start with me fresh. Also, if you're going to be, uh, if you need a pencil, you might want to grab a pencil sharpener. This is my cute little guy, it's a little panda. Pull his ears, you know, wind him out, shut him. That's mine. I don't know what kind you have. I also have a vintage one, but I couldn't find him. Can I see somebody comment? So I know there's comments coming. Okay, there's one. Any questions for me? I've been working at the museum for 13 years, going on 14 now. Uh, I've had a lot of fun there. I've met a lot of people. Probably some of you that are watching I've met. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm hoping everybody has their items. Okay. Uh... Before you get started, just remember you need to plug in your hot glue gun so it's nice and hot and ready to go. Also need glue sticks. Okay, so the first step is you're going to want to draw a cactus. Now, <coughs> pardon me. I have uh, several different di designs. You're going to take your regular pencil and draw lightly. Um, so... I'm just going to draw a few, and I'll show you what they look like. I'll put it up to the camera for you. Uh, you should be able to see two this way. So just some um, minimal ones. They don't have to be extra extraordinary. <laughs> okay, so this, sometimes I like to just imagine my own cactus and draw that. There we go. Give this one little cactus some arms. Some people in the past have liked to give their little cactuses. Um, Hi, City Museum! <laughs> some people like to give their little cactuses, or cacti, I should say, faces. M mouths and eyes. Uh, okay. Round one here. Um, I would say to do two cacti. You could do one if you want, but two cacti, I think, um, would fill your little cork. I had a little bit bigger of a cork, so I could fit uh, three on. So if you have a bigger cork, then you could do that. Or, you know, also, if you didn't have a bottle cap, you could probably use a cap from a soda, like a soda bottle, or um, even maybe a detergent bottle if you had that. Okay, so. These are my designs. These are what I drew. Can you see it? Hope it's not working with natural light here. So here's my cacti that I drew. All right. So you draw yours. Let me know in, uh, by giving me a thumbs up if you've got your little cacti drawn. I'll show it again. Also, if there's any that have just come in, we have your items that you need. One paper plate or an envelope. One pair of scissors. Markers, crayons, or colored pencils of your choice. I have colored pencils and markers. I'm probably only gonna use one set of those. One cork or a bottle cap, depending on um, what you have at your home. And hot glue or super glue. Now, if you have super glue and you're a young one, I would say adult supervision would be a must. Now, 
Okay. Now. Once you have your cacti drawn, cacti, cacti drawn, um, you're going to take your colored pencils, crayons, or markers, whichever one you prefer. I think for this one, I'm going to do my um, colored pencils. I like to take the darker color first if you're doing a crayon. Take the darker crayon because what I like to do is I like to blend, kind of blend it in a little bit and give yourself some shading on your cacti. So, um, dark color first. And then I'll show the camera this as soon as I get it kind of colored. Now you could do different color cacti, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to kind of change it up a little bit. I might have to blend some. These look like they might be the same color. There we go. All right. Then, once you have your outline done, like so, then you're going to start to fill them in with a lighter color. I love colored pencils. My that I have is Prismacolor, and I love them. Okay, and then move on to the next. Color that in. You don't have to worry about uh, going outside the lines because you're gonna be cutting it anyway, right? So, go there. Uh, if you wanna put like little dots on it, like, like cacti have normally, you could do that. It's up to you. Color this last one in. Okay. And then I'm going to add some dots. So here's what I colored in so far. And then add the dots. Okay. Maybe I might want a little dark on this one, but that's okay. There's no mess ups in art, right? That's what I've always been taught. Just change it, make it better. All right. Never say you can't do something because you can. Okay. Once you have your little dots done, City Museum's gonna do purple dots on theirs. <laughs> Yay, City Museum. That's great, I did green. I was gonna do pink cacti, but I chose green today. Pink's my favorite color. How's everybody doing? Can I see some comments? <laughs> yeah, me too, just scribble it. I had a customer the other day that came in and um, they had a little baby and they wanted their little baby to do it, but naturally the little baby uh, isn't to the point where they can color yet. And so they let the little baby just scribble on a piece of paper with all different colors and then cut it into the cacti shape. And oh my gosh, it was so cute. I never even thought of doing the scribble. It was adorable. She said she was going to put it on her windowsill. So, probably the first art of that little one. What color are you doing, Andrea? <laughs> okay. Has everybody got them colored or are we still working on it? Can I see some thumbs if you're done? Hi, Zach. Okay, next we're going to do is, oh, orange and green. Oh, that's good. Hey, you know what would be really great if um, when you're done with your project, your little cacti, if you could post your picture in the comments below, 
that would be awesome. I would love to see what everybody's uh, turned out like. It's one of my favorite parts of the project is to see the end result. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and your cacti that you just cut, colored, and uh, drew your little dots on, and you're going to start to cut it out. Now, mind you, um, I have an envelope, so I'm going to cut my envelope down the side so that I'm not cutting two pieces. I mean, I guess you could if you wanted a lot of cacti. If you have more than one cork or more bottle caps and you want to do a whole garden of little cacti, you could just keep it doubled and do it that way. But I'm cutting mine because I may want to use that envelope for more. Okay, next you're going to, hi Carl. <laughs> next, you're going to cut your little cacti out. Just follow your lines. One. Hi, Mike. Cut that off. Now, if uh, for some reason you happen to cut the dark lines off your cactus, because sometimes that happens, you can just go back in and, you know, draw in um, the dark line around it again, kind of outline it. Fairly simple. Just make sure you put a paper over your table so you don't color your table for you younger ones. So I'm going to do that and that, and then I'm just going to go over it because I did cut some of my lines off. No. So, a little bit of this one. Okay. Now, I have three cacti ready for the next step. Hi, Mike. Okay. Where is everybody from? Now that Mike has said he's from Phoenix. Give it a few seconds. Make sure everybody's got their cacti cut out. Ooh, Kansas City. Welcome, Kansas City. City Museum, I can't wait to see yours. Okay. Now, now that I think everybody's probably got it cut out, uh, you're going to take your cork. Pardon me. Okay, what I did was, ahead of time, I had already cut my corks. So, if you have a cork, you can either leave it the way it is and make it like a little tall planter, or you can cut it. If you're going to cut it, um, I would say maybe a box cutter, and if that's the case, and you're a kid doing it, you need your grown-up to do it for you. Uh, that's the best option for that. Or you could just leave it tall. Tall looks really cute as well. If you don't have a cork and you have a bottle cap, it could be a soda cap, it could be a metal cap. This is the one I have. Okay. Next thing, hopefully everybody um, plugged in their hot glue gun. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to put hot glue onto your cork or your bottle cap. Less is more. Just remember, if you put too much on there, what I found is it takes forever to dry and then you think that it's not working. It's really actually working, but you kind of got to sit there and kind of cool it off a little bit. But the more it, the more that's on there, the longer it takes to dry. So 
Next, put another little dot right here. I'm gonna add my, sorry, I was off camera for a second, right there. I think I might've made my cacti too big. Well, okay, I'll do two, I'll improvise, I'll do two. So this is my first one with the cork and the cacti. And then uh, the second one, I'll just add that to the bottle cap. How about that? That'll work. Um, also, if you don't like the way your cap looks like this, you can always um, color a piece of paper. So I have some markers here, I'll grab a marker. Make it look like sand, you know? If you have a marker or crayons or color pencil, you can kind of you know, make a circle. Let's see, you know. So. Then you can trace your cap with your pencil. Cut it out with your scissors. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to get it kind of around there so you can shove it in that cap. Now it looks like my cactus has sand. Hi, Howie. All right, so here's my bottle cap. I'm gonna take my, my hot glue or um, super glue if that's all you have. You could do that too. Also, I forgot to mention, if you have super glue, you wanna add that to your cork and then add your cacti to it. Same as the hot glue, but with the super glue. You gotta do that quick though, because super glue dries quick. All right, so add a little bit of hot glue to your cap. Stick your piece of paper in. If you have a soda cap, uh-oh, kind of scrunch mine up a little bit. That's okay if it's scrunched, right? Now it looks like sand even more. Can you see it? All right. Then your last cactus, hot glue in the cap. And... Make sure you cool it off. And voila! Guess what you just made? You just made some cacti. Now, if you made this along with me, please leave your photo in the comments below. Until next time, I'm pretty sure I'm doing a video at 7 tonight for the grown-ups. See you later. Thanks for joining.